Oh my gosh, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, I mean over the top beautiful day. Here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here, it is now Wednesday morning, somewhere around February 24th, 2021. And uh, So you know guys, it wasn't that long ago that uh, it used to be hard to go on the mainstream media and find news <clears throat> of the collapse of the planet. Now, for the past year or so, the, the news has been dominated by a couple of distractions, which are finally, finally, after a year, uh, starting to subside. And so now, once again, <clears throat> a few articles of the collapse just showing up every day. And so now my challenge is not to find one mention, but just to pick which one I'm going to center on. But I couldn't make up my mind, so I, I was going to do a rant on uh, on the hopium-soaked, apocalyptic headline of the day. U.S. scientists have shown it is plausible. It is plausible to power the Earth from solar panels in space. And here is the uh, here is the uh, picture to illustrate powering the Earth by building who knows how many millions of solar panels in outer space. But I, I, I'm just not even going to, the, the fact that the mainstream media, this is the fourth biggest story on the planet, how we are going to power the earth from solar panels in space to save us all. Okay, but uh, let's just, uh, I just picked out three, and uh, for this first one, this is the sound of the airboats. Uh, taking advantage of this beautiful spring day in February. This, this first real story, uh, I don't have to go to outer space to find. I can go right up the road here in the Sunshine State. This story, uh, I've been listening to this story predicting the predictable end of this story. For years this battle has been going on. Well, <clears throat> The battle was lost officially yesterday as state, meaning the state of Florida, okays Nestle Corporation's plan to tap one million gallons every day from Florida Spring for bottled water. Yes. <clears throat> In the face of stark opposition from environmentalists, the state water board uh, on Tuesday unanimously approved with protest, with protest, Nestle's bid to pump one million gallons daily for its bottled water business from one of the most n treasured natural springs along the Santa Fe River in north central Florida. Critics promised immediately to appeal the decision on Jenny Springs by the seven-member govern, governing board of the Suwannee River Water Management District. Uh, the approval was expected, hmm, but still a blow to activists who said further pumping of the crystal blue waters would put at risk the health of an already overtaxed river and a network of springs that make up its surrounding ecosystem. Uh, at nearly 60 feet deep, Jenny Springs is one of Florida's most popular freshwater diving locations and enormously popular among swimmers, paddlers, and naturalists. Um, the decision after a four-hour board meeting and about 19,000 
written public comments to the district, the, the you know, 99% of them opposing uh, this culminated a fight that extended almost two years and drew international attention. Uh, environmental activists say they will continue to work to stop the permit. Uh, you know, guys, uh, this just, this this is absolutely uh, a, uh, a, a a a slam a slam dunk. Uh, you know, this is one of these uh, fish huggers. Quote: If they are going to grant this permit, then what permit could ever be denied? You know, this is this is right up there with uh, the cove, uh, you know, there in Japan. If they can't stop killing those dolphins and whales, uh, you know, to, to hand a multi, a multi, probably billion dollar corporation, Swiss corporation, uh, a Swiss corporation, a permit to suck 365 million gallons out of an already overtaxed uh, Florida spring. We're doomed. Uh, the game is rigged. Do we get it by now? And of course, nowhere mentioned in here, uh, one million gallons, how many pint bottles is that? How many pints are in a gallon? Eight. So we're talking every day, eight million of these single-use plastic bottles, eight million uh, single-use plastic bottles of water uh, coming from one spring in Florida every day hitting this planet. Eight million uh, more of these bottles. Okay, a couple more. Let's go from Florida uh, just pretty much to the whole country and with dots connected to China. This is uh, <clears throat> from the Los Angeles Times asking, how far will Biden go to fix the climate crisis? Pay attention to this gas project. Yes. A few days after Joe Biden claimed victory in the presidential election, a San Diego company quietly asked federal officials for permission to send 5 million tons of natural gas each year across the U.S.-Mexico border to an export terminal the company hopes to build along the Gulf of California. Um, yep, this is Joe Biden saving the, uh, the planet. Biden campaigned on a promise to transition the electric grid to 100% clean power by 2035 and to put the entire economy to, on a path to net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Yes. But Biden has rejected calls to endorse a ban on fracking, the drilling technique that spurred extraction booms from New Mexico to Pennsylvania and helped make the U.S. the world's largest producer of natural gas. And there are early indications that his administration might look kindly on American companies eager to ship the abundant fossil fuel overseas. Yes. Uh, there you go. Uh, and then they talk about uh, 
the energy department cheering on Nat, you know, the Biden energy department uh, cheering on uh, this natural gas. Uh, that argument mirrors the gas industry's long-standing claim that it can help fight climate change because its product burns more cleanly than coal, the most polluting fossil fuel. Yes. Um, and, uh, you know, who's going to be... Then they talk, they draw dots... Uh, about where do you think this stuff is going that is being uh, drilled in America and sent to Asia, particularly China. But let's have a dose of reality from the LA Times. But even if gas is less damaging than coal, and, 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 and I'm going to interject here, that there are plenty of studies you can find out there that say if you really take in the full picture that natural gas might in fact uh, particularly through methane leaks. Natural gas is methane. When you look at the entire picture and not just focus on the actual combustion that natural gas produces more greenhouse gases uh, uh, than coal does. Uh, but even if, and that is a big if, gas is less damaging than coal, it is a fast-growing source of planet warming emissions. And critics say that investments in gas infrastructure projects designed to operate uh, for decades are incompatible with a stable climate. Yes. Um, climate activists also say the fossil fuel industry underestimates methane leaks along the gas supply chain. Methane is a powerful heat trapping pollutant and the more it leaks, the less difference there is for the climate between gas and coal. Uh, and uh, again, there is no difference. And if anything, when you add in uh, these methane leaks, natural gas uh, is worse than coal. Uh, the Natural Resources Defense Council released a report in December finding that the overall climate footprint, the overall climate footprint of U.S. produced liquefied natural gas is, quote, only modestly smaller <coughs> than that of other fossil fuels, close quote. <coughs> That is explained partly by methane leaks and the intentional release of methane and partly by the large amounts of energy needed to transport and prepare natural gas for export. This is Jillian Gianetti, an attorney with NRDC, <clears throat> quote, we do not want to export our bad ideas. If we are recognizing that gas is not a long-term climate solution, we should not be aggressively spreading gas infrastructure across the globe, close quote. This is exactly what Joe Biden is doing behind all of his BS little save the planet rhetoric. He is a corporate step and fetch it. He, he Joe Biden is is a mouthpiece uh, for the methane industry, every bit as much as Donald Trump. Later in the article, 
it, you know, it, it talks about how Joe Biden uh, it, it, it is every bit as big a cheerleader. Uh, anybody who does not understand this, but let's just look at one more since I understand I'm probably already talking to myself. <clears throat> Let's go up there to the frozen north, the formerly frozen north. Good old CBS News bringing this uh, story, history being made. History being made. <clears throat> Russian tanker cuts previously impossible path through warming Arctic. Yes, a Russian natural gas tanker. Hmm. A Russian natural gas tanker has completed an experimental round trip along the northern sea route. The first time the path across the Arctic has been forged at this time of year. So, uh, you know, when did they make their first summertime? passage. I think it was three or four years ago, and now they are already moving natural gas from Russia to China right through the middle of what is supposed to be a frozen ocean. Um, the voyage uh, by the tanker through the ice is the latest visual indicator of climate change in the delicate region. Uh, the tanker uh, returned to the remote Russian gas terminal at Sabeta on February 18th, taking Russia one step closer to its goal of year-round commercial navigation through the warming uh, Arctic. Uh, the, they completed the 2,500 nautical mile voyage through the ice in 11 days and 10 hours the vessel managed to complete the first leg of the trip from Russia to China without an icebreaker uh, to, uh, to help it along. Both of the journeys broke records for winter navigation due to the changing climate in the Arctic allowing passage through thinner ice. Uh, this is Good all uh, Doomer and proud new father Eric Holthaus on Twitter, quote, the northern sea route through the Arctic north of Siberia is now open in February. There is no multi-year ice left there anymore. We are in a climate emergency. Close quote. Uh, the deepest ice encountered by the ships was about five feet thick. The vessels encountered no multi-year buildup of old ice on the route. And there you go. Uh, guys, you know, uh, <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry, uh, we're going to put solar panels in space to power the earth, so we don't have to worry about all of this other stuff, we're going to have the solar panels in outer space powering the planet soon enough. Anyway, guys, uh, get out there and enjoy uh, your Arctic ice and uh, certainly get out there and enjoy your trip to uh, Jenny Springs, Florida.
before a multinational corporation starts sucking it dry and filling up eight million plastic bottles of water uh, every year with the state of Florida cheering them on. Uh, what a planet we live on. Bye, guys.